Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about what a secured note is and then why you might want to buy one. Well, first of all, a secured note has that word, that modifier, secured, for a very, very important reason. That is because it is secured by collateral. It means that the collateral is, is a basis, a foundation for that note. Meaning that if someone doesn't pay you for what they owe you, then you can take the collateral. So this is a house, or this could be commercial property, and this collateral is a very, very important piece. Now when you buy the loan file, it's very important to make sure that there are two documents inside that loan file that will help you to be able to collect the payments on this debt and be able to even reclaim that collateral if they don't pay you. Uh, and these two documents are a trust deed or some people, some, uh, some states call them mortgages, so either a trust deed or mortgage, and then the other is the promissory note. Now those two documents are very, very important in that loan file. Make sure that any loan you buy has those two documents. It's also good to have a title report. You, you, sometimes you'll even find the 1003, the credit application from the borrower. Very important because that has the social security number on it, which is very helpful. You won't have to dig around for it or, or ask someone for it. But the most uh, important two documents are the trust deed or mortgage and the promissory note. Now, how is the secured note different than unsecured debt or an unsecured note? Well, that would be, for example, buy, be buying uh, credit card debt. Credit cards are unsecured debt. There is no collateral attached to the stream of payments, the, uh, the obligation to pay. And if the borrower uh, does not pay, the creditor uh, has absolutely no recourse. Uh, of course, they can ruin the person's credit, but there is nothing for them to be able to take away from that borrower. They really have no recourse in that sense. Again, except for ruining the person's uh, credit, which is a big thing, of course. But with secured debt, this collateral is really, really the big, big difference. Now, there are people who have made a fortune buying unsecured credit card debt. For example, Bill Bartman. You might find books uh, that he's written on Amazon. And they really tell his story about how he went out and bought millions of dollars of unsecured credit lines and then made a fortune off of them with the idea that even if he only collected a small percentage of that debt that he bought, that he, because he got it at such a discount, he's going to make just loads of money. Well, that's fine for his business model. I think that, you know, hats off to him. But personally, I'm only interested in secured debt. And so that's what we're talking about. Now, why would you want to buy secure debt? <clears throat> well, the, the bank, this is our picture of a bank. The bank owned that secure debt. Of course, they created it, or they could have bought it from another bank. And they are willing to sell it to you. So you step into the shoes of this bank. Now, the big question is, why would you do that? Why would you be interested in taking the banker's place, the bank's place, in being the owner of that secured debt? So you now have assumed the position of the bank in owning that debt. Now what benefits are you stepping into because of that? Well, first of all, you are buying their UPB. The UPB stands for Unpaid Principal Balance. The reason why you would buy the unpaid principal balance is because the person who borrowed from the bank now owes you. <laughs> That's simply why you would do that. That is a very exciting position to be in, especially if you didn't pay very much compared to 
the balance of that unpaid principal. Another reason why you would want to buy debt from the bank is because of something we call ITV, investment to value. Now imagine that the UPB that you bought is $100,000. And let's imagine that you only spent $30,000 for that $100,000 of debt that someone owes you. Now, you've just gotten yourself a great deal. Because if they have to pay you back for all $100,000 that you bought for $30,000, your ITV is at a great discount. A very, very exciting prospect. Another reason why you would consider buying debt is because of collateral. So I'm going to put here property. Yes, it's true, note investors are investing in debt, but we also think about the property. And the property, in this case, we want to make sure is worth a lot more than what we have paid for that debt. Especially first lien investors really think about the value of the property. Second lien investors do as well, and we'll talk more about the distinctions. But all known investors want to know about the value of the property. And so we look at that. Are we spending one third uh, of the, the value of the property for the debt? For example, if the property is worth $100,000, are we spending $30,000 for that debt? Okay. If so, that's a good deal. All right, so we take a look at the ITV and we look at the value of the property. We also look at other aspects of the property, especially when you're buying less debt. <laughs> if you're only buying one loan, you have more time to take a look, a more thorough look at that property. You would like to know the neighborhood it's in. You'd like to know what the appreciation rate is for the area. You'd like to look at the crime rate and so on. There are a lot of things you can do for due diligence on that. Of course, uh, having someone go buy and do a BPO in all cases, we want to do that. But if you're only buying one loan, you have more time to do that. It's more important that you do that. Now, if you're buying 100 loans, you probably don't need to do as much research about the property, especially if your exit strategy is just to resell the loan, for example. But we always look at the property, whether we're buying for one or we're buying 100. We always want to know at least something about the property. We just go into greater depth with the less loans that we buy because each one of those loans is more important to us. Well, I hope that this video has helped you understand the difference between secured and unsecured debt and why you might want to buy secured debt. See you next time.